Always keep your wild animals and pets contained in cages. Hello everyone! Today we'll be giving Linus a beautiful furnished home, all the food he can eat, millions of dollars, a loving family, and then abruptly take it all away from him just for my amusement. And I'm already deeply in love with Linus because he's going to be the fastest and easiest character to fall in love with because he's always available because he lives in a blanket fort. Anyways, he's currently at zero hearts. He loves most of the food items, probably because he's starving on any given day. So I'm going to give him prismatic shards. Hello, Linus. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. And I don't know you well enough to like you. So let's work on that. Here's a prismatic shard. This is wonderful. You've really made my day special. The only thing special here is you, Linus. He also has a very simple schedule. He's either right there near his tent, or down by the water to the right, or up in the spa area up above. Not sure entirely what he's doing there. And these many crystallariums are going to get in my way as I head to the mountain every day, so we're going to remove them as we go. And just like that, a brand new highway right through my farm. Alright, he gets his second gift today. He also loves mushrooms. I'll actually just give him this. Oh, here's the man now. Here's your purple mushroom, Linus. This is a great gift. Thank you. Hmm, do you want something from me? Your undying love for about seven days. If you didn't already know too, you can put his fire out. Two gifts, he's still at zero hearts because he likes to play hard to get. Good morning, Linus. Hope you're not busy. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Linus, please don't lie to me. It's been 70 years and you haven't moved more than 100 meters from your current location. It's the first of winter already. This idiot still hasn't bothered to put his fire back on, so I'm going to leave it out for him. That'll be his problem. Good morning, Linus. It can get really cold if you live in a tent. Which is why it's such an interesting choice that you decide to live in a tent. Here's a prismatic shard. Maybe that'll keep you warm. I'm also trying very hard to remember that it's his birthday on the 3rd of winter. A few more days, so I'm going to try not to sleep through it for once. Happy birthday, my hairy little friend. I don't know you well enough to trust you, sorry. That's not new dialogue, and you could be a little nicer to me on your birthday. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. That's a little better. I'm taking time out of my busy day to come and see you, and because it's your birthday, I'm even going to put your fire back on. I'm just kidding. No life-sustaining fire for you. After his very special birthday gift, he's up to four hearts now, which means we should get a new heart event, unless I've seen it before on this file, and I have no idea if I have. Uh, another gift for you and you'd better start to like me. This is wonderful, you've really made my day special. Are you starting to like me yet? Sleeping on the ground is good for my back. And ruining people's lives is good for my brain. Okay, we can still see the four heart event. He got his fire going again, so that's probably good for him. Mumps, come stand next to the fire pit, it feels great. I actually have a heated house, so I'll probably just go there instead. Or not. We'll enjoy the fire together. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I come by pretty much every day to see you. That's cool though, thanks for remembering. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. Well, I don't treat most people that well, so you were right on the money. Good instincts. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. I really am. And I consider you a good friend. Yep, I'll be the best friend you ever have for four weeks. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. I'd rather not. That tent looks like a single. Go in it anyway. I would like to point out that this is not a mod. This hard event is in the original game. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It never actually shows how he makes that exactly. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. That means a lot coming from a starving person that lives in a tent. Here, I want you to have the recipe. I don't really need the recipe, Linus. I'm pretty rich and buy pretty much whatever I want. Learned how to craft wild bait. Good stuff, as always, from our favorite guy with a beard. Uh, Linus, you'd better get ready sooner. You're going to be late for work. After today's gift, he's all the way up to six hearts. So very soon, we'll be able to see his brand new eight heart event. And then his ten heart. I can't wait. Hey, I know you're hungry, so I brought you a painted rock. All the way up to 8 hearts now, so we can see Linus's heart event as soon as I get here at the appropriate time. Hi Linus! I'm sure you understand why I'm cautious of strangers. Because someone in town is marrying all the villagers and ruining their lives? But let's put that in the past, okay? You and I are friends now, I think. Yeah, you stay cautious. You definitely should be wary of me. Have another gift. Here it is, the mod 8 heart event, never before seen by me. And probably most of you. Once again, he has his fire going, so that's good. Oh, Mumps, nice to see you. Don't worry, I'm just here to put your fire out. Clearly, I'm very happy about that. Have you eaten dinner yet? I'm making fish, and there's plenty if you want to stay. Um, yes, I would love to. 
I guess I would. I'll try your fish. Really great. Just make sure it's adequately cooked over that fire. I'm just finishing up the meal. Why don't you wait inside my tent? I'd rather not. I guess I have to. Okay, we're gonna go sit in his small little tent. Well, this is exciting. Oh, here he is. Sorry for the wait, but I think it will be worth it. Yes, for your fish. Fresh grilled fish. You grilled it, did you? That's interesting. How do you like it? I've had better. Well, I'm not exactly a five-star chef, but I tried. Not very hard. To be fair though, I feel like you don't eat a lot of good food, so you really wouldn't know the difference. You know, mumps, I... And there's a drum beat. You can hear rocks hitting the tent. I would say that's me doing it, but I'm inside the tent, so it's got to be someone else. Let's see who's out there. Oh, it's the children. They should be very afraid of me. Mr. Mumps, but, but where's the scary tent man? I am the scary tent man. But please don't tell Aunt Marnie, Mr. Mumps. I'm not going to go near Marnie for a while. Vincent made me do it. No, it wasn't me. Kids, there's some very deep bodies of water around. I suggest you leave. Harry, scary tent man. Here he is. He's going to attack us, Vincent. Run. Should I say something? I'm going to say nothing. They should be scared of Linus. He's a monster. And they run off screen. Linus says nothing. Awkward silence. I'm really sorry about that, Mumps. Don't be. I paid them to do it. It doesn't happen often, but... But what? Sorry, Mumps. I'd like to be alone for a while. Thank God, I've got to take a nap. Can I go now? I'll stop by soon. Don't bother. Well, that probably didn't do me any favors with the friendship points, but he's still at eight hearts, so time to give him some flowers. Now, I know you can't eat these, but I think you'll enjoy them. I'll accept this. Thank you. So after giving him some non-edible flowers, he's all the way up to 10 hearts and technically my boyfriend. Which is great because I've always wanted something to pet and feed. We're going to move on into spring. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of year 70. It's been 70 years already and I've probably gone through 70 children along the way. Anyways, the 10 heart event is started by getting the mail we get from Linus. If you have time, come visit me tonight. I was thinking I could cook dinner and we could talk. What could you possibly be cooking? Fish over a fire again? Those are the only things you have. You can even sleep over if you'd like. Come by around 6 if you're interested. I'll be waiting. Well, I think I know what he's getting at, considering he wants a sleepover in a single person tent with a single person caught. Now we just gotta wait for 6pm. In the meantime, I guess we can see what his tenheart dialogue is. Hello, mumps. Well, that's very creative. You should come over for dinner sometime. How about tonight? Does that work for you? I'll wait here until it's ready. Okay, it's time for the finest campfire food available in Stardew Valley. Pretty much the same start as last time. I have an approach from the wrong direction. They could have at least made a tweak to that. Not a big deal. Hi Linus, Mumps, you came. Anything for you. Anything at all. I figured maybe we could try this dinner thing again, without any interruptions. Can we have something other than fish? I would love to. And he plays music. Great. Dinner's just getting done. Why don't we eat out here? Good idea. That way we can see the rocks coming. I tried something a little different tonight. I hope you like it. it. Can't be any worse than last time. Linus gives you a heaping helping of spaghetti. I'm a little skeptical of how he cooks spaghetti over a fire. I guess it can be done. It tastes great. I'm glad you like it. I don't cook much that isn't fish, but I'd be happy to make you anything you like. I want lobster stuffed with caviar. Can you make that happen? I'm glad you came back after what happened last time, Mumps. Well, I kinda need you. Without you, this whole video just doesn't really work. I'm not sure that most people would have wanted to try this again. Most people wouldn't bother the first time, Linus. No one really likes you. I'm not ashamed of my lifestyle. But being degraded by everyone, even kids, is embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. They are the ones that are wrong. I know that, but thank you, Mumps. Sometimes I need a reminder myself. Oh, don't worry. I've got a solution for all your child problems. I'm so fortunate to have someone like you in my life, Mumps. I do like how he actually calls me by my name, not Mr. Mumps or anything weird. I, I love you. He's so forward about it, everyone else beats around the bush. I love you too, my little caveman. Really? I'm so glad. Shouldn't it been obvious after all the flowers? It's been a long night, hasn't it? Fairly. Let's go to sleep? Question mark? Oh, he got me my own sleeping bag. Do you have like, a mattress or a foam or anything though? I'm sure it's not as comfortable as your bed, but obviously not. I am like a billionaire. That's cool though. I'll make it work. And we had a sleepover and then went backwards in time and it is 6.50pm again. 
and he's got nothing more to say. Is my sleeping bag in here? No, okay, it's like it didn't happen. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, time to propose to my little friend. Here you go. I accept. Three days, blah blah blah. Linus, I'm going to marry you on one condition. Stay out of the garbage cans on our wedding day. Here we are on our beautiful wedding day. We have two Linuses. One is wearing something a little more formal than normal. Probably a piece of garbage with a piece of yellow garbage in the middle of it. But that's okay, it looks a little better than normal. We'll run through this whole wedding ceremony fairly quickly because I want to see if anything strange happens. So far it's just the twin Linuses. Nothing out of sorts, really. He's not in any garbage cans yet, so I won't complain. And nope, nothing new. After the ceremony, he's on my porch. Probably the only time he's gotten away from his tent. The sky looks so open and inviting, doesn't it, Mumps? I wouldn't know. I can't see the sky. I only see the ground. Please tell me you made me breakfast. You've got access to all this wonderful food now. Oh, he did. Have some breakfast, my love. Rice pudding. Is it good? What? That isn't breakfast food? I don't know. How should I know? You tell me. This is a great gift. Thank you. Well, at least he liked it. Got anything else for me? I'm going to go to the mountains today, my love. I'll see you when I get home. Well, since you like the mountains so much, I'll put you back there soon enough. I wake up this morning to find this one directly in my way. I'm really glad you kept at only two children at this point, otherwise that would be a nightmare. If you find a spider in a house, please don't kill it. Just let me know and I'll take it outside. And probably eat it. Today he's wandered up into this room for some reason. Now that winter's over, we've got lots of productive weather to look forward to. I don't think you've ever had a productive day in your life, Linus. This morning, he's outside, where he belongs. Just let me know if you need me to do anything, my love. I know how busy you are. Well, since you're asking, you can spend the rest of your life alone in a tent. And Mayor Lewis, I feel like this one should be free. But as one final gift to my feral husband, have a rock. Hmm, this doesn't really do much for me. It's not supposed to, it's just something to remember me by. Anyways, best of luck to you and whatever you want to do with the rest of your life. No more Linus, just stupid annoying kids to get in my way every opportunity they get. Anyways, let's go see what Linus thinks of his new life. I wish there was an option to let him have the kids. That would be so much easier through all this. Although I'm not sure he's in any position to take care of children, he can barely do it for himself. Hi Linus, remember me? You have no reason to be here. No, but that's never stopped me before. Well, I think that about concludes Linus. I almost feel bad for him, but I don't know if animals have feelings. Anyways, seriously though, that's another one off the list. I've got a whole bunch of new, fun, crazy video ideas coming up soon. I've got them all written down somewhere, so those will be coming out. All sorts of different games, more Stardew Valley, Sims, everything. Uh, new Sims videos should be out tomorrow, and maybe one more today, which is Saturday. Other than that, hope you like this one. Thanks for watching.